Hello everyone. So welcome to Sabsa's classes. In front of you is a question um, from Econometrics, and this question was asked in the first paper of Indian Economic Service, uh, 2022. So here you are asked to prove that the total sum of square, that is TSS, is equals to explain sum of square plus residual sum of square. So TSS is equals to ESS plus RSS. So let us begin with the proof. To begin with, first we have to write down our regression equation. Linear regression equation is yi is equal to alpha plus beta xi plus ei, right? Where yi is our dependent variable, xi is independent variable and ei is error of estimate. Alpha and beta are the parameters. Again, y hat is equals to alpha hat plus beta hat x. This is our estimated value of y. And this is the actual value of y. Right? So y i is the actual value of y it, uh, and it depends on the value of x i. Okay, and after estimating, the estimated value of y is y bar uh, y hat is equal to alpha hat plus beta hat x. Now, then what is this error? So, I can write down the error of estimate is ei is equal to what? What should it be? The actual value minus the estimated value. Whatever the, is the difference between actual and estimated value is the error of estimate. So, let us say this is equation 1. So let me show you this using a diagram, right? Okay. So here I am measuring my independent variables and here I am measuring my dependent variables. Now, um, there are random points. So these are the actual values of y and this is how x and y are related suppose. So this is y value, right? Now let's uh, fit a linear line. Okay, so this is the linear estimated line that we have got from linear regression equation, right? So, what is this line? This is y hat this is y hat is equals to alpha hat plus beta hat x. So, this is the estimated value. Now, let me consider this particular point as say point P. So, what is this? This is the actual value say y i. That means This is my actual value. This is my actual value, yi. Okay. And corresponding to this on this line, right? Let me show you with the different color. This blue portion is what? Y hat. That means the difference between point P and the point on the straight line. That is this much, right? Let me show you using the yellow part, right? So, this part is my E. This is EI. So, the gap between the actual value, that is YI, that is at point P, and the estimated value Y hat. The difference is the error of estimate, that is EI. So, this is how you can explain what EI is. Now, let's quickly come back to the proof, okay? So, we have to prove total sum of square is equals to residual sum of square. So now that we have EI is equals to YI minus Y hat. So what can I write? I can write YI is equals to Y hat plus EI, right? Or let's take Y bar on both sides, okay? So now this is the equation we have. 
Now what we are going to do? We are going to take square on both side and summation. That is summation i is equals to 1 to n y i minus y bar whole square is equals to summation i is equals to 1 to n y hat minus y bar plus e i whole square. Correct? Now we are going to solve this. So this is a plus b whole square formula. Let us expand this so we get the following, right? That is summation y hat minus y bar whole square plus 2 into summation y bar y hat minus y bar into ei plus summation ei square. So these are the three terms on the right hand side, right? This is the first term, second term and the last one. Now let's expand the first and second component on the right hand side, okay? So, to begin with, let me expand the first term, okay? Now, summation y hat minus y bar whole square is equals to. Now, in place of y hat, let me put the estimated value of y hat. What is the estimated value of y hat? See, here we have written that is alpha hat plus beta hat x. So, let's just put the value here. That means we have summation alpha hat plus beta hat x minus y bar whole square, right? So let's expand this term. Okay, before expanding this term, so we can write down the value of alpha hat here, okay? So what is the value of alpha hat from OLS uh, estimation? We have got that value of alpha hat. So alpha hat is equals to y bar minus beta hat x bar. So this is the value of alpha hat. Now, let us just put this value here. So, that is y hat minus beta hat x bar plus beta hat x minus y bar and the whole square remains. Now, you can see minus beta hat x bar and plus beta hat x bar gets, I'm sorry. Now, as you can see, y bar and minus y bar gets cancelled. So, what we are left with is summation. Let's take beta hat outside. So, we have x minus x bar. Whole square, right? That is equals to beta hat squared summation xi minus x bar whole square. So, the first expansion of the first component on the right hand side is this. Let us say this is equation 2, right? This was our equation 1. Now, this is equation 2. Now, let us expand the second term. What is the second term? That is 2 into summation y hat minus y bar into ei. Summation 2 into summation y hat minus y bar into ei. That is, is equals to 2 into summation y hat ei minus 2 into y bar summation ei. Now, in place of y hat, again, I can put the estimated value of y hat. That is 2 summation alpha hat plus beta hat xi into ei minus 2 y bar summation ei. In the next line, Let's expand. So, we get 2 alpha hat summation ei plus 2 beta hat summation xi ei minus 2 y bar summation ei. Now, there are certain values about the error term that we know because we have already um, completed the estimation of alpha hat, beta hat, um, ei, 
uh, and find out the variance then we have also proved the gauss markov theorem etc and after solving all that we are going to check the goodness of fit and from there we are deriving this tss is equals to ess plus rss so it is assumed that you all know the value of summation ei so what is the value of summation ei that is zero and summation xi ei is also zero so if i put this in here then what do i get i get 2 into summation y hat minus y bar ei is equals to 0 plus 0 plus 0. That is, is equals to 0. That means from the original equation of the summation y i minus y bar whole square there on the right hand side the first term and we have got from equation 2 and the second term is 0. So let us say this is equation 3. Now let us put these values that is second and third in equation one that is the final equation of right this one so let me rewrite this and substitute the values from two and three It is summation y i minus y bar whole square is equals to summation y i hat y hat minus y bar whole square plus 2 into summation y hat minus y bar into e i plus summation e i square. So let's put this value from equation 2. So from equation 2 we know that expanded value of this is this. That is beta hat square summation square of deviation of the independent variable right. So or summation y i minus y bar whole square is equals to beta hat square summation x i minus x bar whole square plus from the third equation which is this one so this value is 0 so plus 0 plus summation e i square therefore summation y i minus y bar whole square is equals to beta hat square summation x i minus x bar whole square plus summation e i square so this is the final term so that means this you can see that this is the squared sum of deviation of the dependent variable from its mean value right so this is the total sum of square is equals to this is that part of the model which is explained by the x variables used that is the independent variables used that is the explanatory variables used so i can write down explained sum of square plus so this is the remaining part which is not explained or the variables which are not used to explain the y that is the dependent variable so which remains unexplained in the model so this can be termed as unexplained sum of square or the residual sum of square which is our rss and hence proved that's all